All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studio. And I tell you what, I was getting ready to go shooting today, but uh, the winds are howling out there, and it wouldn't be very productive, especially when you're trying to do a video and train for uh, pistol caliber carbine nationals. Coming up in Talladega on June 4th. My good friend Pops Quest and I will be venturing on down there, and it'll be a lot of fun. Now, the purpose of this video, a good friend of mine <laughs> named BJ uh, sent to me an article uh, from the guys over there at the Texas Tribune. This is huge because people like Bill de Blasio would be having a connection fit, and his head would probably explode if this happened to his state, which it should. And, is, <laughs> and if, uh, you know, hey, listen, one little step at a time, but the Supreme Court, if they make the right decision, in my book, New York will be closer to, oh, let's just say, joining the rest of us in practicing our Second Amendment. All right, so let's talk about this. The Texas Tribune, Governor Greg Abbott says he'll sign a bill allowing the permitless carry of handguns and believes the Senate is making progress. All right, let's talk about this. Governor Greg Abbott said Tuesday he would sign legislation allowing Texans to carry handguns in public without a license, as it should be. I mean, you go through a, a whole hell of a lot of ordeal to go ahead and get that firearm. Well, you should be able to carry the damn thing. Breaking his silence on a proposal that has been building unprecedented momentum in the Texas legislature. I support it, and I believe it should reach my desk, is what he said, and we should have constitutional carry in Texas. I mean, really, could you imagine Sheila Jackson Lee? Uh, what's his name? Beto O'Rourke? They're probably having a conniption fit right now, as well as all the other sheriffs in Austin, Dallas, and uh, Houston, because they don't want you to have a firearm. It's just like, oh, I don't know, de Blasio sitting on the video I did last night talking about he's worked so hard to keep firearms out of the hands of New Yorkers. Oh, yeah, and, and, and juveniles or kids, that kind of thing. Because a citizen without a firearm is a sheep, period. As recently as a week ago, Abbott had declined to say whether he supported such a proposal which the House passed earlier this month. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has said the Senate does not have the votes for the legislation, but he is trying to find a way to move it through the process. I hope he does. Last week, Patrick created a new committee with the majority of permitless carry supporters, the House legislation, House Bill 1927 was then referred to the panel, and HB 1927 is set for a hearing on Thursday. That's tomorrow. So this will be kind of interesting because if it goes through and they get enough votes in the Senate, well, it'll be signed into law. Abbott said he has talked to several senators on the new Senate Special Committee on Constitutional Issues. Yeah, isn't that funny? It's all about the Constitution. What your rights are, as they were intended by our founding fathers. A, people, a lot of people talk about, well, our founding fathers didn't mean for you to be going around with assault weapons. Well, no, our founding fathers created a, an amendment, the Second Amendment, that stated that the population, the people, sh shall have the right to keep and bear arms. And they were talking about firearms that, at that day, the government had, soldiers had. Well, we're kind of lacking in the, uh, the, the firearm department as it relates to what we should have versus what the military should have. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I believe it is making progress, Abbott said. Once the Senate passes it out and the House and the Senate will convene and work out any differences and get it to my desk, I'll be signing it. Man, what am I hero? Abbott's support continues to demonstrate how far the push for constitutional carry has come in the recent weeks. And the reason it has come to... Where it is in the last couple of weeks is you've got these idiots up there on the hill in Washington, D.C., talking about red flags, talking about uh, federal gun control laws. More, Hey, we need more gun control laws. Where they're not working to try to get crime off the street, get the bad people off the street who had the firearms. You get a guy with a drug charge with a firearm, they drop the firearm charge and slap him on the wrist with a, a drug possession. And next thing you know, uh, he's back on the street with a firearm. And it has nothing to do with somebody else buying it for him. It's all because the cr criminals don't care how they get it. Whew. All right. Uh, it, has it has stalled earlier in the legislation process during the previous sessions and the last sessions. Then House Speaker Dennis Bonham, 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 Republican Angleton, declared it dead after the gun rights activist showed up at his Lake Jackson home to advocate for the proposal. Guys, don't, don't go to people's houses, man. That's just, that's just wrong. So anyway, here's the deal. Uh, constitutional carry. 
I hope you guys get it. I hope that a lot of states do it. I understand that West Virginia just busted in the balls just the other day or just today. But with that being said, BJ, thank you very much for sending this in. Good luck to you guys out in Texas. I really hope that you get that and you work it hard. Uh, and when you do, do it safe. With that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who will serve our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers, not by these jackasses who interpret it to fit their means and methods. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and I already said that. Hey, I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.